All right, YBR, more 18 wheels of steel. This is Extreme Trucker 2. This one, you at least get to choose where you start, unlike Extreme Trucker 1. So I'll say, yes, I want to start here. Choose wherever you want, and you can let it load, which that has always seems to take longer than it should. Every game seems to take longer than it should to me. I should just get an SSD and bam, bam. Just everything super fast. And right here, I'm delivering a rocket part. That, that was totally coincidental, that's kind of cool. Uh, this is not as extreme as the other extreme trucker, as far as I'm concerned. The, I mean, I guess it's extreme in a different way. The other one was extreme in like, look at this fucking climate, man. This climate is extreme. This one's extreme as in, look at how big that load is. It's huge. Although, I don't really notice a difference ever. I mean, the only difference I ever notice is not handling. It's just what the top speed seems to be. So, so oh, you got a bigger part. You drive slower. How is this harder? Yeah, this is easier. You know, it's... I don't know. Let's go ahead and uh, interior view. They switched up the numbers. Usually number one would be the interior view. The good view. Uh, what the hell? Hold on. Let me look at... What the... Okay, an escape doesn't give you the map. There we go. I need to go left, it looks like. Crap. But, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. The view. Norm this is just a minor thing, but it shows the game. It's getting worse and worse as they go on. Usually, number one view would be interior cab view. It's not. It's this view, and I went the wrong way. Son of a bitch. Right. Uh-huh. Thanks, GPS compass thing. All uh, right. Making a U-turn with a uh, rocket part. On the truck. That's just great. Alright, here we go. Try number two. But I don't know why they do that. Why don't they like their interior view? You also got, you know, all the crazy camera views. Here's this one. I mean, like, if you're making a movie, this is the camera angle for you. Just don't try to actually play the game like this. You go everywhere. Oh god, this is Australia. Right, wrong side of the road. Hey, they fixed the compass not being in the interior. That's good. I damaged the shit out of my truck, though. Cause I was trying to show off that camera angle. I mean, look at that, though. It's so cool. It's all dramatic. As always, you can control your lights, high beams, blinkers. You got a cruise control, but I always like to go fast. Got your parking brake, everything, you know. So we'll get in the interior view. The mirrors function. Some of them they don't actually function. Older ones. The newer ones all have that feature, I think, though. But again, no free roam. Purely mission based on a very much more linear map than the other games. As far as I'm concerned at least. I can't tell. I guess cruise control is working. I'm watching the speedometer. I look up, my truck's halfway off the road. That's great. Yeah, cruise control is working, though. Yeah, that, that gets crazy. I'm driving on the wrong side of the road again. <laughs> Australia. I mean, yeah. I always do that in games. I'm so it's so embedded in my brain. You drive on the right side of the road. Every time I play a game that's not American, basically, and maybe some other countries too, I don't know. Which countries are what? But America. We drive on the right side of the road. So whenever there's a game that doesn't do that, it screws me up. Alright, so, this is a game, yeah. I mean, there's never much you can say about these. It's like, yeah, this is what you do. Okay, if you enjoy this, good. I kind of do, but not as much as the older ones. The old ones are better. I don't... The old ones are superior. It's just, you can manage a company. You have freedom. You have upgrades for your truck. 
freedom. Just, I don't know why you'd ever play this one. Move, punk. And pass. <laughs> if you actually tried to fucking do that in an 18 wheeler, you'd probably flip over and die. Uh, wrong side of the road again, but I'm gonna be able to be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be able to make it. Watch this near miss. Ten points. Except I got slowed down in the dirt, didn't I? Slightly. All right, let's just go on the right side of the road, and by right I mean left. doesn't help that I'm a terrible driver in real life. How far am I? Let's find out real quick, shall we? Uh, quite a ways. I should have, uh, I should have took the more fun looking path. You know what? Let's, uh, let's double back and take that funner path. Turn. Alright, that wasn't so bad. I mean, that, that path just looks more fun. This one looks like, yeah, it's a freeway type of thing. But that path, it could be anything. It could be a dirt road. I mean, this isn't very extreme. Sure, it's a big thing, but you only go 40 miles per hour. 40 miles per hour is not extreme. I don't care. It's not. It's just, it's not. How far am I? Alright, where I want to turn should be coming up. It'll be on my left. Is that it? Is that it? No. Oh, I see a, I see a, a truck coming at me from the, the road I want to go down. What's he going to do? He's going to go left, good. Slightly more extreme. There's less of a dividing... Peace between the roads. Yes. Man, this thing needs a downshift. I have it in automatic, though. There we go. 11th gear. That's better. Extreme. I don't know, man. I don't know nothing though. Who am I fucking around? Kidding with? I don't know shit. <laughs> I, I never know what I'm doing. Ever. But we're, we're driving this thing the slower route. Danger. Something something. Wild bobcats. Extreme wild bobcats. Downhill, that gives me speed. Yes. Your shit, car carrier. Man, those should be like Holden and shit. And shit. I never get to see no Holdens in America. Didn't see a single Holden. Something like the Utes. I love the Utes. Those cars are awesome. Oh, man, they got that. Mm, I love those things. I wish they made those in the U.S. I mean, I think they're made by Ford. So easy. They could. But they don't. It just seems so awesome. At least I think it's the Ute is the model I'm thinking of. That's the one that's the uh, half car, half truck. I don't remember. It's the graphics. I mean, although it's a totally different environment, I think these ones look better than the first Extreme Trucker, at least. And overall, because it is more linear and they can concentrate more, both of those have better graphics than I think every other AT will still game, really. But that's not one of my big concerns when I play these is graphics. It's just, yeah, it has some, yeah, that's good. <gasps> Oops. That was bad. That severely damaged my vehicle.
Um, shit. It teaming as a steel extreme trucker too. So extreme it doesn't even move anymore. Ah, you get the idea. It's not much different than extreme trucker one. And if you don't know what extreme trucker, well, I mean, all you're missing is I go to the destination, they give you points. That's it. That's it. So you're not missing much. Till next time, wherever you are. Bye bye.